All right, so no doubtably by now, you've probably heard about the Samsung 980 Pro two terabyte NVMe failures that have kind of been making their way around. Um, turns out I had one of the drives that was on its way out. So I figured we would go ahead and make a video today talking about quickly an overview of what the problem is. And if you have this drive or you're looking at buying this drive, how you can make sure that the NVMe drive failure is not something you find yourself being a victim of. The new SkyTube mid-tower case from Montec features improved direct airflow with fine mesh intakes, three pre-installed RX120 ARGB fans, supports motherboards all the way up to EATX while supporting top-mounted 360 radiators, and even fits the largest 40 series GPUs on the market, all while not breaking the bank. To see the full list of features, follow the sponsored link in the description below. Okay, so a quick overview of what's happening here. Puget Systems uh, out in Washington is actually the company that really sort of spearheaded the research uh, as to what's going on here with the NVMe drive. So this 980 Pro right here that has a Micro Center sticker on it, um, we've had this for a while now. In fact, the manufacturer date on this is uh, 8-16-2021, so August 16th, 2021, quite a while ago. Um, this one was manufactured in Korea. Interestingly enough, we just picked these two drives up today at Micro Center because I went through the whole process of updating and fixing this drive so it wouldn't fail on me and went, oh, I should have probably made a video about that. So I went and picked up two new drives that probably are not gonna have the firmware issue on it because one, they're manufactured in December of 2022 and they're made in Vietnam and not in Korea. So the they I don't know if they have the firmware issue. So first and foremost here, let's talk about what the problem is. The problem is with the firmware itself. The firmware on the drive, remember there's a controller that controls the NAND. So the NAND is just sitting there w waiting for blocks to be written on the NAND and the controller is what controls where those blocks get written. It moves those blocks around to keep drive help and stuff going. And the problem is that there was a particular firmware on the 980 Pro that was actually corrupting portions of the drive. And it was happening slowly over time but as those errors would continue to accumulate and accumulate and accumulate, the smart drive health looks at the drive as if it's failing. And so what it does with an SSD is it reverts it once it sees enough failures and a certain percentage of the drive is no longer looking healthy, it locks the drive into a read-only state. Now, if you're using the drive for an OS drive, that's obviously a problem because your OS is constantly writing and reading from the drive. So if it can't write anymore, your OS would then become corrupted and you would see blue screens, maybe even a no post, all sorts of weird issues would happen with the drive. If you're using it as a secondary drive that has games and stuff on it, well, your games would probably no longer work because it can't write to save files and stuff if they're on the same drive. So a lot can obviously happen negatively if the OS or the program that is using the drive can no longer write to it. Now this is an issue happening with the firmware. It's not actually corruption on the NAND itself, it's corruption with the controller and the firmware writing to the different blocks of data on the drive. Um, once your drive goes into that failure state, there's no getting it back. Once the drive believes it has failed and goes into a write-only protected state, or excuse me, read-only protected state, there's no getting it back, there's no firmware flashing, it's basically toast at that point. Now it's kind of funny because the research showed as many as 9,000 errors on a drive that is very young and very high health. And I think it said once it gets to about, I think it was 33,000 failures or somewhere around there, I could put it on the screen, um, that's when it would revert into a read-only state. Now, there are three firmwares, I said three. There are three firmwares. There's three firmwares that you need to be aware of. The drives that are specifically most affected by this, the drives that were most prone to failure are the Samsung 980 Pro NVMe Gen 4, two terabyte drives manufactured in 2021 and having a firmware that started with the number three. You don't have to know the whole firmware. We'll put it down right here on the screen. Phil can put it on the screen, but there's three firmwares. One starts with the three, one starts with the four, and one starts with the five. The one that starts with the three is the one that basically your drive was guaranteed to have a one-way ticket to failure town. And guess what firmware my drive had? And this is the drive that I was putting in my personal rig. So I was like, oh, do I want to use this drive? So it's not my OS drive. It is my secondary drive that I'm using in the system now that I've updated the firmware and I'm going to take a chance on it um, for my Steam library and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, um, what you need to do to get this flashed back, and, or not flashed back, but firmware updated, is you have to install it physically in a system. So I tried doing this on a card reader, an NVMe card reader. The problem is the card reader is just a translator that turns the NVMe into a USB device. Now it can't write to the drive uh, firmwares and such by being a read, or excuse me, a USB-C, you know, transcoded 
device. So it has to be physically installed in the system. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna install it. If it's already in your system, which it may be, um, it's gonna be a lot more convenient for you because it's already in there. It doesn't matter if it's gonna be the OS drive or a secondary drive or a mass storage drive just chilling there. It has to be physically in an M.2 slot on your motherboard to be able to uh, go forward with the next steps. So the NVMe is installed in the M.2 slot here at the bottom of the motherboard. And you'll notice when I come into Windows here, it's not showing up. This is my OS drive. Yeah, it's only a 500 gigabyte drive and this is a two terabyte hard drive, which I have in here. Look, my test bench is old, okay? Anyway, the two terabyte NVMe drive is not showing up right here. So that's because it's a brand new drive that has no format or partition or anything on there. Um, you may have to go to disk management. This is only for those that are installing a brand new one, by the way. It automatically shows up, hit okay. Expand it, you'll see right here, right click, new simple volume, click next, you can give it a drive letter, the amount, it's just gonna be drive E, sure, whatever. Just all the defaults finish. Now the drive shows up, there it is, and there it is right there. So this is only for those that are maybe installing one for the first time in their OS. If you already have it installed and been using it, that's not gonna matter. What we need to download right now is a utility called Samsung Magician. So once I go ahead and download the software, Make sure you download the one that is specific for your particular OS and such. So I'm using the consumer grade. All right, the installer is just about to finish right here. Um, I'm gonna tell it to go ahead and launch the software. Now here's the thing, if your firmware is out of date, it'll automatically prompt you when it recognizes it's a Samsung drive and the firmware is out of date. Um, so scanning drive right here. Update your firmware to the latest version for operational stability. And I have actually multiple SSDs in here that are Samsung. One is a SATA drive. It shows up right there as the 860 Evo. That's a SATA drive. This is the 980 Pro is our actual um, NVMe. And then it even shows the Western Digital drive right there, which is um, my two terabyte black. Anyway, it notices that there's an update that needs to be um, handled. Now it's telling me that right now specifically for the 860 Evo, which is which is fine. It shows drive details, there's that. Let's look at our 980 Pro. Okay, so we are on the latest version, the, the 5B2QGXA7. That's the latest one. If you have a, a firmware that starts with a three, it's gonna be very important to update your BIOS. If you have the one that starts with a four or the five, which is the latest here, you're gonna be fine because all of the failures have been um, kind of showing up on the older drives. Now here's the thing. We just went and bought these drives, which means that they are gonna, because of the same manufacturer date, they're from the same location. I expect them all to be running on the same uh, firmware. And we'll double, I'll double check that, not off camera obviously, but because they're identical um, everything, I expect them to be on the same firmware. If you need to update your firmware though, you'll get a notice like this. Go to drive details, you'll see an update button right here. It is very important on your 980 Pro, if you're worried about being one of the drives that is potentially going to fail, then you need to look at your drive details and see. If it starts with a three, and we'll put the whole firmware right here, and you have a two terabyte drive, and it was manufactured in 2021. And it's gonna be hard for you to tell what the manufacturer date is if you've got rid of the box. It is on the drive, but if it's installed in your system, obviously that'll be hard to see. That drive is on a one-way ticket to failure town. Now, one thing you can also do just to make sure your, your drive is okay here is do a diagnostic scan. Just a short scan is fine. It's gonna go through and prepare the entire drive for scanning. Each one of those squares is basically a block uh, of where data gets re read and written to. What was happening is some drives with the bad firmware, the corrupted firmware, was showing, even without being used yet, like fresh out of the box, a few red squares. And that's specifically due to the firmware. So once it prepares the entire thing and to go ahead and read, it takes about 53 seconds to do the entire thing. It's funny, it's that granular of detail. It's correct, 53 seconds is how long it takes. But you can go through and check your drive status. If you've been running a Samsung 980 Evo, or excuse me, a 980 Pro two terabyte NVMe SSD in your system for a while, before you update the firmware, I would highly recommend you run this test just to know whether or not any of your, bl your blocks are showing up red already. Red as in bad. So not R-E-A-D, but R-E-D. Now don't worry if that's the case. That was your firmware slowly taking your SSD on that one-way trip. Once you update the firmware and go through the drive diagnostic again, it actually will fix those sectors because that is a corrupted firmware, not actual corrupted, corrupted sectors on the NAND. It's important to note that. So everything is good right here. Um, and I, like I said, I would expect the other drive to be the same. I really wish I had made this video yesterday because of the fact that this drive right here, this one I hold in my hand, checked every single box that was like, if you have these, 
you have a problem. And guess what? Yes, this absolutely is one of those drives. It is fixed now and it is in my personal rig. So I'm going to be using that drive. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and update the A60 Evo now, just so you can see the process here. So drive details, update. You can click update again. Check system compatibility for performance, okay. It's gonna shut down automatically after it does this. Why? Because after it updates the firmware, you have to restart the drive to restart the controller. The actual update process is very, it's already done. I get wrote that fast. So we can just say shut down. Notice it's not a restart, it's a full shutdown. It wants a power cycle on the drive. The same thing is gonna happen with your NVMe, whether it's the OS drive or a game drive or a picture drive or a scratch drive, whatever. Um, it is going to do the same thing. It's just taking forever to shut down because this system is very old and it has had lots of different hardware put through the same OS and lots of registry issues because it's, it's time to change our test benches and stuff here. And then once you go back into the uh, SSD Magician software from Samsung, you'll no longer see the update button until there's a new update for it. So if you're worried about the 980 failure, I had a lot of people email me about this, and I know a lot of people talked about this already, but having another point of information that could potentially reach someone that has this drive and is worried about it failing, because look, nothing sucks more than losing your data. And I'm sure there's plenty of you. I guarantee someone right now is watching this video, didn't know about this error, has a drive made in 2021, is a two terabyte drive, and is sitting on the firmware starting with a three, and might even have some red blocks showing up. It's easy to fix as long as it hasn't reached that complete failure state. Once it goes into that that write, or that read state only, that's it. Your drive is toast. It is forever locked in time at whatever that data is that's showing on there, all right? Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this has helped someone. Kind of a short, quick one. Now I've got a mul multiple 980 Evos here. I was hoping, I paid, I paid over 300 bucks for these drives to hope to show you guys how to do it, but I showed you still how to do it. I just didn't actually have to perform it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit like to subscribe, uh, to, to at least support the fact that I spent 300 bucks on something I didn't need to hope to show you something that I had to tell you in theory how it works.